I'm Christina Camelli, and I'm here to show you an easy tip for getting nice, smooth spiral quilting designs. Um, this spiral quilting design can be really fast to stitch up once you know the trick. And the trick for me is using a freezer paper circle to get the first circle that you stitch nice and clean. Um, I've tried doing uh, the spiral with a walking foot before and it was very hard for me if I just marked the circle right on my quilt top to see where the line that I had marked was. And so the first circle that I stitched was kind of bumpy and didn't look at the way I wanted. And then I figured out I could do this. So you can take any household object that's round like a cup or a bowl and trace around it to get a nice circle on your freezer paper. And then the shiny side you'll wanna iron down onto the piece that you're working on. On your machine, you'll have your walking foot set up. Everybody's walking foot is a little bit different. The one that I'm using right here is about a quarter of an inch from where the needle goes down to the edge of the foot. And so that's, um, that's the distance that my lines are gonna be quilted apart because I'm gonna use that edge of the foot as my quilting guide. So we'll get this started. I'm gonna use the freezer paper circle as the guide for stitching the very first circle around. So. I'm gonna go slowly and I'm going to use my hands to pivot the piece as I stitch. So just slowly, I'm gonna do this. I've heard it said that this is a walking foot and not a running foot. So if you have a speed controller on your sewing machine, go ahead and set that, uh, set that speed to one of the slower settings so that it doesn't get away from you, especially on this, on these first inner circles that are pretty tight. As far as the size of the circle that you wanna start with, I would say three to four inches is about right. Anything smaller than three inches, and it's gonna be hard to keep your line smooth as you go around this first part. Okay, I'm coming back around to where I started. I'm gonna make sure that I stitch over the first, few stitch, the first few stitches that I made in that circle. And then I'm gonna start breaking away. So not following the edge anymore, still doing the pivot with my hands. And I'm gonna keep letting it come farther and farther away until the edge of my freezer paper, paper circle is right here. I wanna be following the edge of the last line I stitched right at the edge of my quilting foot. Keep going around until it's the size you want. 